Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the circular convolution of two signals using the DFT. That is, we are going to use the DFT approach to determine the circular convolution of two signals. So, given two signals, that is, given a signal x of n as 1, 2, 3, 4, and also h of n as 1, 2, and 3. So given x of n as 1, 2, 3, 4 and h of n as 1, 2, 3, we have to find their circular convolution. That is, we have to find x of n circular convolution with h of n. Here, n is obviously equal to 4. Now, the first step is to find the DFTs of both x of n, h of n. So for x of n, x of k, that is its DFT, 4 point DFT is defined as the summation n is equal to 0 to 4 minus 1 that is 3 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k over 4. So that is the definition of x of k for this given 4 point sequence. So for k is equal to for k is equal to 0 x of 0 that is the first value is given by the summation n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n because for k equal to 0 the exponential term the twiddle factor basically becomes 1. So, we have x of n, the summation of x of n as x of 0, which is clearly equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, that is 10. Now, for k is equal to 1, that is x of 1 is given by the summation n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n e power minus j pi n by 2, that is we have uh, k equal to 1, so uh, we have 2 pi n k 1 into 1 by 4, that is minus j pi n by 2. So, that is the value of x of 1. So, we can substitute the values of x of n, that is the values of the signal to find this sum or this weighted sum. So, that should be 1 for the first value because n is equal to 0 and plus 2 times and n equal to 1. So, it should be e power minus j pi by 2. And the third one is 3 times and n is equal to 2 means e power minus j pi. And n equal to 3 we have 4 times e power minus j 3 pi by 2. So, upon simplification, uh, we can uh, easily see that this value is minus 2 plus 2j because we have a minus 3 pi by 2 that is basically j into sine pi by 2 that is j1 or 1j. So, this is actually 4j. So, that is why we get minus 2 plus 2j. And for k is equal to 2, that is x of 2 is equal to the summation n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n and then we have k equal to 2. So, we have e power minus j pi n. So, in other words, it is basically minus 1 power n. So, it should be equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3 and minus 4. So, the sum is minus 2. And then finally, k is equal to 3 x of 3. And since we are talking about or basically dealing with a completely real sequence x of 3, should be equal to x of 1 conjugate. So, it should be equal to minus 2 minus 2. Therefore, the DFT sequence x of k is given by 10 minus 2 plus 2 j and then minus 2 and then minus 2 minus 2. So, that is the DFT of the signal x of n. Now, similarly, we can find h of k. That is the DFT of h of n is given by h of k which is summation n is equal to 0 to 3 h of n e power minus j 2 pi n k over 4. Note that even though h of n is originally 1, 2, 3 and we do not have a fourth value. So, for the purpose of the circular convolution what we do is we modify h of n as 1, 2, 3 and a 0 that is we add 1, 0 to the sequence. So, so that we have a 4 point sequence. So, now h of k is this summation. Now, h of 0, that is the first value is uh, summation n is equal to 0 to 3 h of n and the exponential function or this exponential factor basically becomes 1 because k is equal to 0. So, this is the sum of all the values which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is equal to 6. Similarly, h of 1, we can find h of 1 as summation n is equal to 0, 0 to 3 h of n and for k equal to 1, we have e power minus j n pi by 2. So, this should be equal to, so for this summation we have 
for the first value n equal to 0 we have 1 and for the second value n is equal to 1 we have 2 and for n equal to 1 it is e power minus j pi by 2 and for n equal to 2 we have 3 times e power minus j pi n equal to 3 we have 0 so this is the sum for h of 1 upon simplification it is equal to minus 2 minus 2 and similarly h of 2 is summation n is equal to 0 n equal to 0 to 3 n is equal to 0 to 3 h of n e power and since k is equal to 2 we have e power minus j n pi so for n equal to 0 we have 1 and for n equal to 1 we have 2 times e power minus j pi and for n equal to 2 we have 3 times minus j 2 pi and for n equal to 3 we have 0 so this should be equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3 that should be equal to and then finally h of 3 uh, since we again we have h of uh, n as a uh, since h of n is a real sequence h of 3 should be equal to conjugate of h of 1 based on the symmetry property so it should be equal to minus 2 plus 2 so finally the sequence h of k is given by 6 minus 2 minus 2j and then plus 2 and then minus 2 plus 2j so to find uh, the second step is to find y of k which is basically the product of h of k and x of k since x of k is 10 minus 2 plus 2j and minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j and h of k is 6 minus 2 minus 2j 2 and minus 2 plus 2j we can easily find h of k sorry we can easily find y of k so y of 0 is 10 into 6 that should be 60 and y of 1 is minus 2 plus 2j into minus 2 minus 2j that means they are conjugates of each other so the value should be 4 plus 4 that is 8 third term for k equal to 2 we have minus 2 into plus 2 so it should be minus 4 and similarly the last term again we have minus 2 plus 2j and minus 2 minus 2j that is again conjugate so the, sum, the product is 8 so this is a dft sequence of the uh, convolution of uh, the circular convolution of the given signals so we can easily find or recover y of n as the inverse dft that is idft of y of k so starting with the resulting sequence 68 minus 4 plus 8 we can easily identify or evaluate the idft sequence so therefore y of n is equal to 1 by 4 that is 1 by n here n is 4 so 1 by 4 summation k is equal to 0 to 3 capital y of k e power j 2 pi n k over 4 so that is the idft so for n equal to 0 that is y of 0 will be equal to 1 by 4 and this exponential term becomes 1 so we have summation k equal to 0 to 3 y of k so basically we have 1 by 4 and the values are 68 minus 4 and 8 so we have 60 plus 8 minus 4 and plus 8 so the answer the value should be equal to uh, 72 by 4 so it should be 18 and similarly y of 1 is 1 by 4 summation k is equal to 0 to 3 y of k and then e power plus j 2 pi and n is 1 so k by 4 or in other words e power j pi k by 2 so the values are 1 by 4 that is the y of 1 is 1 by 4 multiplied by 60 and for k is equal to 1 we have plus 8 and e power j pi by 2 and then for k equal to 2 we have minus 4 and then e power uh, j pi and for k equal to 3 we have plus 8 e power j 3 pi by 2 upon simplification this should be equal to 16 so similarly y of 2 y of 2 is 1 by 4 summation k is equal to 0 to 3 y of k sorry n is equal to 2 so it should be e power j pi k or k pi so we can easily write the value as 1 by 4 into 60 and then for k is equal to 1 it is e power j pi so it should be minus so we have minus 8 and then minus 4 into for k equal to 2 it should be 1 so we have minus 4 and finally plus 8 into uh, for k equal to 3 we have e power j 3 pi which is again minus 1 so we have so this simplifies to 10 that is 60 minus 20 40 40 by 4 10 
and finally for y of 3 she is e the sum the value is equal to 1 by 4 summation k is equal to 0 to 3 y of k e power j 3 pi k by 2 so again the expansion or the summation is 1 by 4 into 60 plus 8 and for k equal to 1 we have e power j 3 pi 3 pi by 2 and for k equal to 2 we have 3 pi that is minus 4 into e power j 3 pi and finally for k equal to 3 we have plus 8 into e power j 9 pi by 2 so again upon simplification this value uh, becomes 16 therefore the circular convolution sequence is given by values 18 16 10 and 16 so circular convolution four point circular convolution is 18 16 10 and 16 so to summarize we have looked at an example illustrating the application of dfts to find the circular convolution of two signals that is x of n is 1 2 3 4 h of n is 1 2 3 so we use n equal to 4 that is we have a four point sequence so the first step is to find uh, both the df the dfts of both the signals that is x of k is a dft of x of n which is found to be 10 minus 2 plus 2j minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j uh, and then h of k is again the dft of h of n and we add a 0 to show that the sequence has a length equal to 4 now the 4 point dft of h of n is given by 6 minus 2 minus 2j 2 and minus 2 plus 2j and then in the second step we have to just multiply these two dfts to get y of k which is found to be 68 minus 4 and 8 and in the third step we have to find the inverse dft of this sequence uh, the dft sequence 68 minus 4 and 8 and uh, so upon finding the idft that is the inverse dft by using the inverse dft definition uh, we get the following sequence y of n is given by 18 16 10 and 16 so this is the circular convolution sequence of the given signals 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 thanks for watching